sitting on a throne. But there was only room for one person on that throne. And that wasn't the throne that he longed for. There's a much greater throne, an eternal throne. And that's what we have back here, is that throne for him and his bride to rule and reign forever. Thousands and thousands and millions and millions have prayed, people have prayed thousands and thousands and millions and millions of times a prayer that says, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And nobody knows what that means. Nobody understands the significance of it. But it's, it's Yahshua coming to rule on the earth, to sit on a throne with His bride, to reign eternally. And that's the significance of that prayer. And now this is the climatical point when their rulership can begin. And it's not, it's not gonna, it's, there's not, they're not gonna, gonna get impeached. And no one's gonna, no one's gonna kick them off the throne. And the throne isn't gonna rot, and it's not gonna decay because it's an eternal throne. It's eternal rulership. It's the beginning of eternity. Finally, true, good authority has come to the earth to bring about care, love, to bring about rulership that cares for the human beings on the earth and into the universe. And that's the awesome thing that's gonna happen when they sit on that throne. Amen.
that they uh, the cup of the new covenant in the blood of Yahshua the Messiah. He broke bread and had a, a cup of wine with his disciples. It's called the Last Supper. There's famous paintings and all kinds of interesting things you can read about it. But very few people recognize uh, in the Gospel of Luke, he records two cups. And the first cup before the meal was what he referred to as the fruit of the vine, which we call the cup of victory. And he said he's not going to drink it again until he drinks it in his kingdom. He said his kingdom has come, and it came with a price, the cup of victory. Cup of the overcoming. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Amen.